Columbus is working to provide felons with job training, mental health resources, and the opportunities to work when they return to society. The Free the Future initiative has a mission to educate Chattahoochee Valley citizens about the reentry process, the barriers that formerly incarcerated individuals face in obtaining gainful employment. Our Maya Graham joins us now live from the newsroom with more tonight on this program. And Amaya, tell us a little more about how one man was given a second chance and now able to make a, a livable wage. Jason, in the United States, over 600,000 people are released from prison each year, and three quarters of them are rearrested within five years of their release. I spoke with a man with a criminal background who says when he got out of prison in May of last year, a second chance program gave him a way to provide for his family. Mayor Skip Henderson is making sure individuals in the Tri-City area have a second chance with the Free the Future initiative. Free the Future is a collaborative effort between the mayor of Columbus and several local organizations like Goodwill. Broderick Kennedy is defying the odds of returning to prison through the Free the Future initiative. Once he was released in May of 2022, Kennedy needed a job to support his family. I didn't have no calling to be in. I was working at temp service. They would find me until I came to the Goodwill Career Center and I met a guy named Paul. He blessed me with a job at St. John. I worked it for $13 all the way from May to June. Now, if you are interested in Free the Future, you can find out more information on their website. Goodwill is also offering an opportunity for people to get their record cleared on October 25th. Live in the newsroom, I'm Amaya Graham for WTVM News Leader 9. Certainly sounds like a program that is going to help a lot of people who need it. All right, Amaya, thank you very much.